My name is Layla and I'm the Interact Project Coordinator. I work for a charity called the Citizenship Foundation, which aims to engage individuals as an active part of their communities. So Interact is a project which brings together 16 to 25 year old young asylum seekers and refugees with local young people. It supports them to tackle issues in their community through developing their own social action project. We identify two partner organisations in each city that we work in. One partner organisation works with young asylum seekers and refugees in particular, and then the second partner organisation works with locally resident young people. And the partner organisations each nominate one key worker who's the main point of contact for the project and who kind of oversees its delivery. In terms of what that looks like so far, the project's been running for three years, and every year we've worked in four new cities. Um, and then since year two we've also worked in one city from the previous year to kind of look at the sustainability of the project. My name is uh, Gary George, I'm an outreach development worker for the Prince's Trust. How it works is that we get referrals from different organisations throughout the Greater Manchester area. I cover a certain area or certain areas which are Trafford and Salford. My name is Andrew Owens, uh, I'm 25 years old, born in 86, um, from Salford, born and bred. I'm, I'm like welded to that community sort of thing. Name's Jamie Watkins from Stretford. Been living in Manchester all my life. My name's Jamal from Gorse Hill, Stretford, and I'm 22. My name is Natasha Bougie Howen, and I'm a community development worker at Union Street. Union Street is an organisation that combines a professional media arm and a community development project. We run projects that help to support people to develop their voice, representation and participation in community life. A lot of the work that we also do is around producing creative content to help people get their ideas and their voice out there. My name is Ali Asan Khalid. I am 18 years old. I am from Salford. I am from Pakistan, yeah, it's my home country. <laughs> Currently, uh, I'm not going to a college or I'm not working, so I do not come across many people. When I was doing the resettlement interview for um, people who come from UK to there, they told us that UK people are good and respect to people each other. When we live in open show, they tell us, you are African, why are you wearing this, why are you this, this, but we just stay home. So there are four stages of the project and the aim is that it kind of starts where young people are familiar, which is working with their particular partner organisation. So stage one of the project is the young people working with their partner organisation to look at kind of key issues in their community through some kind of creative project. So it might be film, it might be kind of a creative mural, it's completely up to kind of the organisations and the young people. I'm really excited to see what they are doing uh, because we are doing the same thing in a parallel manner. I think there are going to be people like us doing the same kind of thing but under a different, uh, in a different area. Planning for stage one was quite interesting. We thought about it, we thought long and hard of what we're actually going to do. The young people led this by introducing um, situations regarding how would people feel if a certain project was to take place in their particular area. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I can't wait to see what they're like because I know, I know they're from a different culture and I'd like to get to know them and find out about their culture and hopefully bring something together as a group. The first time the young people from both partner organisations meet is at stage two and the aims of that session are for the young people to get to know each other. My name's Gary. I'm an outreach development worker for the Princess Trust. Me and Mo. Went here. On my side. Stage two is obviously really, really important. So Gary and I sat down and really thought really carefully about how we were going to bring the young people together and the type of environment that we wanted to create. But it was good that Layla came to facilitate the workshop so we could observe and know how to proceed from then on. First time I met with uh, Union Street, it was just, it was new ground. It was it was virgin territory. I didn't know, as I say, it was um, it was enlightening. 
And then from stage three, they're a team and young people from both groups are kind of working together. We had two groups of young people, both with a completely different set of needs and bringing those two together and designing a programme that would suit the needs of everybody was a real challenge. The two organisations work different, but yet again, they work the same. It, I mean, the Princess Trust run sessions differently to Union Street. And once again, we're all running in the same direction. They go through sort of a series of sessions which aim to build their skills, particularly around things like project management, budgeting, communication skills. And so doing that, they kind of create their own social action project. The first few workshops in stage three were about building the group, as well as starting to identify common issues the group were passionate about. Out of the problems and solutions we identified, one definitely stood out for the young people. I don't think there's enough opportunities for young people and young asylum seekers to mix that all. So the young people chose to support a local event that sought to bring together different communities. The rest of the sessions were for planning and implementing the project. I've been organising uh, refugee events in Salford for many years now. And this year it was a bit special. Why? There are two or three reasons behind it. First, that we actually organize events at three, four different uh, gateways of Salford. Special thing was that we got uh, young people from Interact Project and they actually participated in all the four uh, events here in Salford. So people were amazed to see their dedication and coming and making some delicious foods, you know. So it was amazing to see how young people can not only be part of this event but also cook for the people they love, you know, for the refugees. And refugees in return also cook the food for them. So it was wonderful to see that people coming together, young people coming together. The aim of our project was uh, community cohesion. People who have worked in this project come from different communities. I am from Pakistan, there are some people from Kenya, Afghanistan, and some are locals. We have different ideas, so we have learned a lot about each other, each other's cultures and communities, and have come together uh, to uh, do this project. It wasn't as we expected, because we, we just thought that we were young people from a different community. Um, and we didn't think we'd get along, but they were just as nice as we are and we got along very well. I think that was the whole point of this thing, to be honest, um, for me anyway. Um, it was to get a bit more of an education or an insight into how, into how life is for them. In them different types of countries, they've been through a lot of, a lot of stuff what we've not been through. So that's, that, that, that's why I think they've come over here to get, to get away, to get a good life. This project People are respecting each other and they talk to me like um, friends. Obviously you might meet some people from different cultures and all and, and you've already done this kind of stuff before so you know like a little bit about them. I learned to communicate better and I learned with other people from different backgrounds. But in this society there's a lot of people that think no, oh, they're all illegal mm. uh, 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 but the, it's not, it's that, that's the media telling them that on TV, oh, they're showing them programmes that, oh, we're, we're stopping all these illegal Ill immigrants. immigrants. Finally, stage four of the project is the celebration event, which is a chance for the young people to organise a big event in their community. I was really surprised, actually. The young people took a lot of leadership in stage four and had a lot of young people come forward asking to do speeches, young people supporting each other to write speeches. I was really impressed to see actually the project sort of coming together to really showcase everything that had been learned. The young people were eager, the young people were honest and their participation in the whole part of Stage 4 was 100%. The Interact project attracted people from far and wide to the celebration event. The most important idea is a lot of confidence, making, making people friendly, meeting a lot of people and improving my Young people today sometimes get quite a bad rap and what I saw was a lot of um, confident and articulate young people. The project is called Interact and our main aim is to promote awareness about different cultures and community cohesion. And I don't think there's enough projects that actually deal uh, with bringing people together and particularly young people from various backgrounds. I learned now how to mix 
different people with different countries and their cultures. I'm just really inspired that there's you know different people from different backgrounds breaking boundaries. Absolutely, I'm just so inspired by it. The best thing about the project is teamwork. You come up with a single point at the end, having arguments at the start. The best thing about the Interact project was meeting Union Street, um, getting to know all the different cultures, um, to find out about the religions, and I've got to say my t-shirts as well. <laughs> the name of the project says it all, Interact. <laughs> <laughs>